What's going on guys, Tony Avanov here and today I'm going to go over a video lesson of how I made $283.11 by trading penny stocks. Now this is not a big win for me by any means but once again it's another green day. Uh, every day this week been green and, and that's really what I'm aiming for. I'm Right now I'm aiming for consistency, I'm not aiming for big big wins. Uh, just trying to recover from last week where I was just every day was red. So uh, I've reduced my position size and I'm just trying to refocus on being consistent on each trade taking one to two trades maybe three trades per day and today um, i had two good trades one bad trade so ended up making 283 dollars and 11 cents so we're going to go over the video lessons and the stocks that i traded if you guys enjoy this type of content be sure to subscribe because i make these videos every single day monday to friday and i'm going to start adding car content if you guys know i just got a 2015 corvette z06 and the car content will be uploaded on weekends so we're going to be having more videos pumped out for you guys more content because i'm sure you guys will enjoy that type of motivation but with that being said hopefully you guys enjoy this lesson and if you do like i said leave a like leave a comment and of course hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video Alright everyone, so we're going to go into our midday market recap. Um, today is June 21st, 2018. It's a Thursday and uh, today we had only two stocks on the watch list. Uh, there were not that many pre-market gappers. We only really had SBOT that had pre-market news. Uh, I have the chart of SBOT displayed right now. And it says uh, the Stellar Biotechnologies Research Results or reports positive results from KLH glycosylation study. And that was really the only one that had pre-market news and, and, and that's why it had the most volume in pre-market. You can see this one uh, was gapping up from from around $1.70 and, and hit a high of almost two ninety seven. You can see, I, now that we have the daily chart mapped out, I just wanna point it out right away. You can see how the High of day ended up right at 325, which was just a bit underneath the the 50 day moving average. So first things first, you guys know there's three different types of resistance and support. There's chart history, which is uh, previous levels that prices have stopped at, like say right here on this day, 763 would be chart resistance. There is the mental resistance, which is round numbers, which you can see on this chart would be say $7 and today like uh, 325, that's a, a nice round quarter dollar number. Uh, traders generally like to place their orders, their buys and sells around these round numbers because it's easier to type $7 than it is to type 696 and so forth. Uh, and then the third type of resistance that we know of is technical resistance. So that would be your 200 day moving averages, your 50 day moving averages, intraday, your VWAP, and all those different indicators that we like to use. Um, and what we tend to notice is that if you have more than one type of resistance at the same point, it makes that resistance that much more stronger. So I first played SBOT uh, right here at 9.23 a.m. Uh, I was buying the breakout over the pre-market high over 259. Right here you can see and uh, it popped up real quick up to the 264, but of course I'm not gonna take that profit because I was only five cents per share. And then it, it had this big dip down to 250. And once I, I was watching that weakness, once I saw it you know, getting a bit weak, I just hopped out for a very small loss of two cents a share. I bought at 259, sold at 257. Uh, some of the reasons why I I sold so soon was because I didn't really want to hold this into the market open. We have seen so many stocks that will do a breakout in the first minute and just get slammed down and stuffed and it wasn't really worth it to me to hold on to this into the market open just because there's that high chance of it you know acting like a spike and then just slamming back down and selling off. So I was more willing to just wait until market open, let the chart make some pattern and then play the pattern that develops. But sure enough, of course, SBOT is the one stock that does break out right at the market open and isn't a fake out. So this spiked up 
over the pre-market high over 260 up to 288 and this one minute pullback right here so this was one of the one of the three top entries i would say to play sbot you can see we did a quick one minute pullback and then we broke out uh, i alerted this breakout but i did not play it uh, i'm not really sure why i was just kind of not too convinced of this play right here but of course it spikes up from 288 to 310 so that's some pretty decent gains around 30 cents a share or around uh, eight percent in two minutes which of course is very nice but then we got this very big pullback and then once i saw this pullback i was thinking okay this could potentially make you know a double top or a flat top wedge that would be broken out later on so we pulled back and then we had this massive crack down to 280 but then we bounced uh and then and then we retested this high of 310 so uh n noticing this price action and how we we popped up very easily and then we pulled back bounce off of three dollars and then we had a perk back up towards 310 on pretty good volume as you can see that was my indication that okay this might be the breakout and that's where i jumped in again so i bought uh let me see 2000 shares at exactly 311 so right a cent under it where it broke out and this was kind of my fault because i have said this in previous lessons where you don't want to try to predict the breakout you want to react uh but you know in this instance i wasn't predicting i bought right when we hit 312 but of course that wasn't enough there were too many sellers too many shorts it popped up for a split second i bought and it slammed right back on down so of course i had to cut that loss uh and i cut this one at three dollars so i lost 10 cents per share that was a 200 hundred dollar loss for me thankfully i cut the loss though because this dropped down to 288 and that would have been a much bigger loss that i probably would have had to cut the loss into but then of course it bounces and if you notice these two dips where do they both bounce they bounced on the 20 ema and they bounced on the middle bollinger band which are almost the same exact line uh mathematical wise so now we have a double top and then we have uh two higher low dips what does that make us well that would make us pretty simply a flat top wedge so once i saw this flat top wedge i was saying okay this is you know looking like it's going to break out it's making higher lows it, it's making a nice pattern next time it, it retests 311 i'm gonna try it once again so of course we regain we we break out over 310 and i bought uh this one uh 2500 shares at 309 i got a pretty good entry because i was using a market order but trust me i waited until the breakout and then i just uh I got rid of all those shares at 324 so i got nearly the top on this trade uh and that regained most of my losses and more because i used more size on this last last trade so that regained my losses from uh from the the pre-market action which was only like a like a 30 dollar loss and then this loss right here which was 200 uh i regained it all and more on that third trade so that is one thing i was happy about I, i'm happy that i didn't uh, missed this trade because I was too worried of losing again. I'm glad that I recognized the pattern and I decided to uh, try it out again. So that's one thing that I'm, 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 I'm trying to do better on because usually what happens is uh, whenever I trade and the first few trades I take are losses, I'm worried of losing more. So I don't want to take uh, trades after that. But then of course the trades afterwards are ones that do work and then I, I miss out on them because I decided not to trade so i'm trying to fix that and with any good pattern that i see i'm i'm going to try it out and have a set risk reward ratio so in this instance that was a good good plan on sbot one more stock that we saw pop up uh, kind of randomly was xbio now xbio was absolutely explosive and this one popped up right at the market open you can see this one had a very low volume and very very big spreads and once i saw this overall action I was telling the people in my trade buddy chat room like hey guys this one's probably going to be a really big squeezer today but it's just so hard to manage the risk of getting in right now that i'm not going to get in but uh keep it on watch because it has the clear clear uh 
variables, I guess, of these massive squeezers like we've seen uh, uh, like TENX, uh, BOXL, all those stocks. One of the main character, one of the main one of the main characteristics of them is low float, low volume, and big big spreads. Because the big spreads make it squeeze all the shorts. Once it breaks out, it goes up like a dollar per share. So you can see we have this very nice flat top wedge once again against around four dollars. It broke out, squeezed up to almost five dollars, and got halted. So that's when I was like, okay guys, this is definitely going to be one of the biggest spikers. Keep it on the watch. Of course, I didn't want to buy it after the halt uh, because it was just much too risky. Um, but the point that I did buy, let me see. I bought right here um, on the break of this this previous resistance, which was drawn on, on daily chart. I was looking on this dip buy, trying to catch this dip. I wasn't looking to get the very bottom of the dip. I just wanted to see uh, where the volume would come in and scalp it real quick. So I bought right here. I got filled 595. I only bought 500 shares because it was a bit risky of a play, and I sold those quickly at five or 644. So that was a very nice win right there. 200 bucks again on that trade. And then after that, I was kind of done with it. And the main thing I was looking for was this big, big gradual descending wedge. That never happened, and you know, once this had this massive crackdown, I really stopped looking at it, and I went to go enjoy my new car. So, all in all, uh, pretty nice day today. Like I said, up two hundred eighty. Uh, what where is it? Two hundred eighty-three dollars and eleven cents. Nothing to scream about for, but you know, n nice to know that I'm able to make consistent profits in this market. So the past four days green. Hopefully, we can have a green day on Friday. Fridays are historically one of the hardest days to trade. So I'm going to keep it very safe and I'm going to keep it very simple. Buying breakouts only or if I'm going to do dip buys, only buying the first green candle to make a new high because that's where the buying volume comes in and that's where you're not trying to catch the very bottom but you're catching the meat of the move and that's really the main thing to focus on. So if you guys enjoyed this lesson and want more content from me, I do have a free ebook of how to day trade every morning. So first link down below, I do have a, a penny stock mastery mentorship program. It's a lifetime me mentorship. You get lifetime access to my penny stock mastery course, which is over 10 hours long and lifetime access to my trade buddy platinum community. And let me just uh, do a quick a breakdown of, of my students profits. Uh, here just a few examples. I've shown these before, but I have some more to add into. Uh, so here's this, like a few screenshots of students in the course who post their profits in the chat room. These are not every single one that I've uh, captured, but just the ones that I've had time to take pictures of in the chat room. So here's Daniel, 130 bucks. Arthi made 32 cents a share. Again, almost 60 cents a share. Jared made uh, nearly 20 cents a share with a thousand shares. Christopher, TOPS, 10 cents, very nice. Jason made almost uh, 12 cents a share. Kevin, 6 cents a share, small win. Mike, 7 cents a share, very nice. Mike again, uh, making 14 cents. Terry made $2,000 uh, in one day. In total, on this play, he made, I believe, uh, $3,000. So awesome job, Terry. He always kills it. Here's Arthi. Very first day made over 200 bucks. You're welcome, man. I'm glad you enjoy the content and the course. Lucas, he's a short seller and made 700 bucks. So we have both long and short in the chat room, which is very good because if you have any questions, uh, you can just ask them in the chat room and then everyone will be happy to help you out. We're a very friendly community. Uh, there is actually a free seven day trial of the chat room and the live stream if you don't want to take part in the mentorship program. Those are all down below. Links are all down below. Jared. Uh, made 240 bucks. Mike made half dollar per share. Arthi made 150 bucks again. Dean made 900 bucks, and he just joined my mentorship last week, so he's already recouped his investment, and he has lifetime access still. So that's just the power of this this program, guys. Um, very very good value, and it's lifetime. Please tell me any other 
penny stock trader who gives lifetime access to anything. They don't because they just want to grab your money. They're not interested in helping their traders. They're interested in get, grabbing as much money as possible in the least amount of time as possible. But with my program, it's lifetime access. So you pay one time and you're in there forever. That's the beauty of the Trade Buddy community. Mike doubled his money on this one. He, GEVO, that was uh, on Monday. He bought at 1188, sold at 2291. That was an awesome, awesome trade. Eric up 500 bucks. He just joined, uh, I, I think yesterday he just joined the platform. So there's just a quick little breakdown of the people in the chat. If you guys want to join it, links are down below. You can also ask me any questions, Tony at TonyAvanov.com, and I'd be happy to help you out. If you have any issues with payments or stuff like that, feel free to ask me. I'm very open to helping each and every one of you out because I'm truly interested in seeing you all succeed as traders. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment for any questions, and make sure to subscribe for future content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.